Hello there, and welcome to another video by JJ's Productions. We are doing an escalation on Dubai, the Phoenix Ascension. So level one, very, very simple. You really don't need a guide for this. It's uh, just simply hit someone with a shovel and exit the level. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think it's something about the devs, they like the idea of knocking people out, so, um, alright, this is very, very simple, uh, we're just going to run over to the target, there is a shovel right by them, we can make this much simpler by just using this, um, the target will go over to investigate the sound system, why it's uh, making noises, all we have to do is follow her and give her a bang on the head, so, uh, yeah, very, very simple, <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot else I can really say about this. You could maybe speed it up by doing what we do in levels 2 and 3, which is a different starting location. For the record, the different starting location doesn't really impact on uh, playing the escalation. If you were to start the default for the next two levels, you'll be able to do the route just fine. It's just simply the fact that I preferred starting in a different place. So yeah, we're just going to exit via this elevator. There may be a quicker exit somewhere, but honestly, I thought, why not leave the way we came in so yeah uh, level one completed um, so yeah level two escalates but it's not like the biggest of escalations essentially we've now got to knock out one more target but we've also got to kill him so again it's not that difficult what I did find a little bit awkward is his route um, in the main game he pretty much just stands around so he's pretty easy to get to straight away Whereas here, they've altered the route a little bit, probably just to make him a little bit harder to take out. <laughs> so it's not the biggest thing, but still keep an eye out for it. So as you saw, we started in the security room and we're right by the area we need to be. So we're going to do the same uh, tactic for the first pacification. We're going to turn the sound system on. Target will come over and try to turn it off. So we get the shovel and we just give him a good old bop. Anytime now, love. Anytime. <laughs> I've said it a few times, I really wish the NPCs would just be a little bit quicker. Just that little bit quicker. <laughs> so yeah, uh, give her a bop. Just drag her into the foliage so that she doesn't uh, get seen cheap in a cheap way. Pick up the shovel because you probably need it. Just to make a knockout quicker, you know. And all we're going to do, we're just going to wait for the targets to come nearby and... Yeah, I've been having server crashes, have anyone else? <laughs> uh, but yeah, as soon as the target comes nearby, we're going to turn the sound system on again, and we're just going to lure the target. Now, I decided to throw a coin as well, just to distract these two. I figured if them two are distracted, chances are they wouldn't respond to this uh, sound system. So, if you want to try that, that's your call. Um, I wouldn't say it's mandatory, though. The important thing is that if he comes around this corner, chances are he will see the body. So you want it to be the target who sees the body, not a uh, random NPC. As it turns out, he didn't see the body, so we were fine. But there is a risk of it because of, um, what you call it, the fact that he might be able to see into the foliage as he's dragged into it. Anyway, level two done. Very, very simple again. You don't really need to do much here. I mean, I was trying a complicated route here. I thought, I thought there was an exit this way, so I was going this way, just trying to, yeah, take a different exit <laughs> but I ended up going the long way so uh, yeah sorry about that uh, it was on screen a second ago but if you do enjoy this video if you do uh, like the channel please support it hit the like button subscribe all the usual stuff every youtuber on the planet will be saying to you it is a load of baloney in a lot of ways but equally it does help the channel out plus it is nice me waking up in the morning to see I've had a new subscriber so just keep that in mind you might be making someone very happy so level two completed now level 3, uh, the escalation doesn't really bump up that much again, all it does is add one more person to pacify who's a guard and yeah it was a little bit weird when I was doing it I through the menus they didn't show who this third one was so it caught me out a little bit. Now I've gone away from the level 1 setup for this one just to try and do the route a little bit smoother and a little bit quicker. So with that in mind, um, we are going to have a karma on us. Now you can unlock that via the mastery in Hitman 3, or if you played Hitman 2, you may have it from your mastery already. So it's just a nice, easy, cheap knockout. You don't necessarily need it because you could use a soda can or something along those lines to do a nice quick knockout, but it's a good way to avoid bodies found, which you are going to see will happen. So we'll go through here. 
the pacification targets here, so we're going to use the Karma. Now, I wish I'd been just a little bit more attentive because I didn't see that objective pop up on the top left to place the target in the storage room. So, me being a dippy, I just left him there. If I'd known, I would have put him in the storage room now. You might say, why didn't you re-record this and do that? I thought it was a good lesson learned. I This is what happens if you do make the mistake. So, we're going to do the same as before. We're going to turn the sound system on grab the shovel, we're going to pacify this woman, we're going to then get the attention of the assassin and knock him out. Whilst all of this is happening, the um, guy we've just knocked out, uh, Nadim Yakub, is going, what be, well yeah, as you can see, body found. So this is where this escalation took a little bit of a surprise turn, um, just in the sense that I wasn't really expecting this next bit to happen. By the way, you can knock him out there, try and crouch because you do have a risk of getting caught, but yeah, just throw him over the edge, he'll die. <laughs> so yeah, grab the shovel, you will need it, well, potentially you will need it, it depends if you want to use the karma or not. And as you can see, the guy, Nadim, is awake again, <laughs> and he's a little bit annoyed, I would suspect. So yeah, um, we've got to wait for him to be on his own, really, because he's got a bodyguard with him, and even though the bodyguard isn't there, if we shoot him as I was just going to do then, the bodyguard will come back into this area and wake him back up. So it defeats the purpose of doing all this. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we are going to just wait until the guard has gone. We're again going to pacify the target, and then we're going to drag him into the storage room. And just for good measure, because this guy really annoyed me, I am also going to knock that guard out. <laughs> I mean, as an escalation goes, this one wasn't bad. It was... It was weird. That's the only way I can put it. It's like... It reminded me of the fish one in Hitman 2 on the Isle of Scale. It's like, why are you having me knocking people out with fish? You know, I don't particularly like these escalations because I find them quite pointless. But on the other hand, at least it was a bit of fun trying to root it. So I wasn't against that. Now, this is the bit I was a bit annoyed at as well. I hadn't got a lot pick, so I don't know. And I needed one, I would have bought one. But instead, yeah, the best option I got is to knock this woman out. Um, again, not a brilliant idea because, you know, you don't really want to knock someone out without her karma. <laughs> but um, it, it did the job. I mean, we were able to hide this body in here. Um, and this is part of the reason as well why I knocked that bloke out or the uh, security guard who's coming this way because I thought the chances are he is going to find that body. <laughs> so I thought let's just make sure he doesn't do that. So give him a nice good smack with the shovel. You can avoid all of this by just dragging that body earlier on though. So just keep that in mind. So thank you very much for watching this video. As I said before, hit the like button if you did enjoy it, subscribe to the channel. I'm not going to repeat it again just for your sakes, but I hope to see you around folks. I do Hitman 3 live streams on Wednesdays most of the time, so catch me then. Otherwise, ta-ta for now folks.